"'Twas the morning of Christmas when the Who's had awakened to find that their stockings and gifts had been taken. And though you think a Who Christmas could survive just on joy, <coughs> turns out those old Who's really wanted those toys. But the town came together. They stood shoe to shoe. No one needed to speak, because they already knew that the way to save Christmas, or so it was told, was simply to solve the Gorinchy Code. Which was lucky for them, cause out of the air came a man who looked just like Tom Hanks with bad hair. And he brought along friends like Nicolas Cage and old Dr. Jones, who was also his age. The town pointed with pride, their hearts started to swell. I know, said Nick Cage. I have bad hair as well. His friend interrupted. We're looking for clues, and this Dr. Seuss book is the thing that we'll use. If I stare at this page for a small length of time, I'm pretty darn sure of what we will find. The culprit? The thief who pulled off this heist? No, the fact that these books are way overpriced. The Who's questioned his answer, but had no replies. I guess that's why they're known as the Who's, not the Wise. Jones said, I'll take this stick here, my staff of raw, and shove it on up your tiny Who car. Nope. Then the rays of the sun will melt all the snow and show us the place where your presence did go. He positioned the stick just as he had planned, but it did little more than to give them all tans. Then Nicholas Cage said to the mayor, Can I look at your desk? It may shed a new layer. And under the seal he found an inscription, then closed both his eyes, acting out his description. I'm led to believe that the man called the Grinch stole all your things, then took off in a pinch. He cracked his whip from an antique sleigh and knew the right codes to get out the same way. You found all that out from the desk in his room? Not really, said Cage. I just watched the cartoon. When all of a sudden a blanket of snow covered the men from oh. their head to their toes. It was the Grinch himself who arrived with the stuff. You're lying, he said, and I'm calling your bluff. From that story you told, one sure to surmise that the bandits you seek are really you guys. See, I found that old sled that I supposedly used to steal all the gifts from all of the Who's. But if memory serves and the truth might just sting, it's you who has access to hand take things. And that whipping you heard came from old Dr. Jones while the Codemeister here broke into your homes. The men blinked and reacted the way guilty men do with a tug of their shirt and not one gulp but two. <gasps> then Betty Lou Who, who was no more than two and whose name we have changed so that no one will sue, said Why are you trying to frame Mr. G? Clearly he's not as well off as you three. He's got a bad rep from here to Hubedos, and his movie did poorly on Rotten Potatoes. But everything changed when he solved the Who's crime, and the Grinch now had friends for an awful long time. But not because he learned the true meaning of things, eh. but for simply reuniting the Who's with their bling. And as for the men, well, in Whoville, they say that their movie appeal shrank three times that day.